Hey, I'm Deanna Price, and today I wanted to go over the equine skull in a little more detail with you. A while back, I was fortunate enough to be able to purchase a well-preserved skull, and because it was so well-preserved, there are structures that are still present in this skull that sometimes you don't see in other skulls because they've degraded. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over that with you in detail, and we'll zoom in and show you those structures. So the skull is made out of flat bones, and this is approximately a five or six year old male horse. And you can see these lines. These are called sutures in the skull. And these are not cracks. These are essentially joints in the flat bones of the skull. So here we have the nasal notch and this is palpable on your horse. It'll feel bony, bony, and then squishy, squishy. And when you're placing your nose band on your horse, you wanna to try to avoid being over this squishy area because just like if you close off the top part of your nostril, it will restrict your air intake a bit. The same thing for your horse if you put a nose band down here and it's tight. So you wanna to try to be above that nasal notch, but then avoiding this facial crest. And if you avoid, if you go about halfway between the facial crest and this nasal notch, then you'll also avoid this foramen where a lot of nerves branch off your horse's face. All right, and then next we're gonna look at the TMJ joint. This is a very critical joint in your horse's body. This is how they chew. Actually, the bottom jaw would be moving, but it's on the table. And you can see that there's a lot of surface in that joint, and it also has a meniscus in it, like your knee and a lot of the horse's nerves run through that area and their vestibular system is very closely housed right here. So this is where the inner ear is housed. And I can show you the underside of that. So this is where your horse's inner ear is housed, their vestibular system, so their balance, and it's very closely related to the TMJ. While we have the skull like this, you can also see where the hyoid articulates. And I do not have a hyoid for this skull, but it articulates right here. And then the same point on the other side. And there's a green dot on that side as well. The hyoid then hangs down into the mouth and there's a part of the hyoid that then goes into the tongue. And then here you'll also see the cranial vault. So this is where the horse's brain is. And this is where your spinal cord comes out. You can see the roof of the horse's mouth is still present in this skull, which is sometimes lost when they break down. And you can see how nicely this horse's teeth were maintained. And then I wanna show you the sinuses. We can take a couple views of the sinuses. One from the inside here. And you can see how delicate those sinuses are. They're almost just lacy bone. And then there's a better view of the sinuses when you look from the nasal bone and where the nostrils would be. And you can see up inside how delicate those structures are. So I just wanted to show you some of the interesting structures inside the equine skull and I hope you enjoyed watching.